Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts on NBA 2K17 and NBA Live 18. Currently, right now, you're looking at NBA Live 18, and it's on TCL 55-inch P605 model TV. Um, the drastic difference, obviously, it's going to be NBA 2K17, because NBA 2K17 supports... HDR and native 4K and of course the visuals are and the animation it's way much more superior on the NBA 2K17 but for NBA Live this is a good step up from previous year okay they are supporting a native 4K but no HDR which is kind of disappointing that they didn't put HDR in there maybe they will with an update or something uh, so it's good. I mean, it's not bad. It definitely uh, has its key features that makes it look good. Like uh, the dribbling is much better. The passing it's better, and and shooting in the basket, you know, it's it's a little bit better than the previous year. You have this meter that lets you know how much of power you can actually use to shoot toward the basket. So uh, it's definitely a step up upgrade from last year. But come on, let's. Let's be honest, NBA 2K, it's the game to get. Somebody was telling me that the uh, NBA Live will support uh, HDR on Xbox One X. I haven't heard nothing on that yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. Look, the bottom line is this. It looks good. It's definitely a step up from last year. A huge step up from last year as I said in my previous comment on this game but uh, NBA 2k it's definitely the, the one game everybody will be getting you know that's the that's the god of all basketball games so we all understand we all know that everyone will be getting a NBA 2k what I would do is I would wait with NBA live till the price goes down maybe Thanksgiving or something and then get it for like uh, I wouldn't pay the full price. Is what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't pay 60 bucks for it. I would wait till it goes down to 39, 40 dollars, and it will go down to 39. I would wait for the full, uh, not the full price. Actually, I would wait for. Uh, ah, why did you do that? Bounce pass. Why? I would wait for a discount price in November before Thanksgiving, so you can get it for like uh, 40 bucks or 30 dollars instead of. Uh, you know 60 bucks I wouldn't pay 60 bucks now for NBA 2k you definitely it justifies the 60 bucks easily because it's such a great game has so many features It's like the best NBA game basketball game you can get period uh, this one I would wait a while you know you already have NBA 2k no need for you to jump in into this one and um, wait till the price goes down on this one like that's what I would do this is one of my uh, subscribers. Uh, I'm going to get to your messages later, brother. <laughs> I'm busy right now. He doesn't know that I'm doing a video right now. Oof. Oof. Thompson. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch to uh, NBA 2K18. And uh, we'll play the same exact team. We'll go to... Uh, Cavaliers Arena and I'm going to show you just the difference between the two which you guys will see right now in a minute and of course it's like a drastic difference watching this on uh, NBA 2K the animation is much better native 4K HDR it just makes this game look much much more eye candy and this is something that honestly everyone should know from the beginning everybody does know this that NBA 2k it's more superior than NBA live but for EA sports this is definitely a step up from last year they definitely are listening and they're moving forward you know so it definitely looks better from from previous uh, year so I still stand by that statement. But I wouldn't pay the full price. What I'm trying to tell you is don't pay the full price for the uh, NBA Live. I would wait for like uh, price to drop down and then you get it. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Barrios, sideline reporter David Aldridge. 
buy it like in November, like prior to the Thanksgiving, you could probably get it for like thirty dollars, Best Buy or somewhere else out there, Walmart, or even a Black Friday, you can get it for like twenty four, thirty, thirty dollars instead of sixty dollars. That's what I would do, and get it back then. Why would you spend sixty bucks now when you can save thirty dollars in November and get it for like thirty bucks? How about this? You get the Xbox One X version for NBA Live for thirty dollars with native 4K and HDR. That's what I would do. But right now, I wouldn't spend uh, sixty bucks on uh, NBA Live. I'm not saying it's it's not a bad game. I said it's it's, it's a good game. It's definitely a step up from last year. Okay. But I wouldn't pay the full price for it. This here, you want to pay the full price. Because this is the best NBA game, period. NBA 2K, it's like, uh, like a god. It's like a demigod. It's like the god of, of basketball. That's it, period. Everybody knows this. They have a full license. Okay, so. And you're getting a native 4K HDR here. It looks fantastic, man. It's a drastic difference, honestly. When you compare these two, uh, it's like, there's no comparison, honestly. It's like, it's not just the graphics, it's the features, the dribbling, and the uh, the way you can pass the ball overhead, bounce it off the floor. I mean, there's so many things you can do here. Go faster, dribble, pass it. Pass it to Curry. There you go. You see? Nice. And uh, it's just better. I mean. <laughs> so that's my thoughts. This video is really by a request. Somebody asked me, hey, man, what do you think? Which one's better, uh, NBA 2K or NBA Live? And the obvious answer, it's NBA 2K, obviously. Uh, but NBA Live, it's not bad either. It's just that I wouldn't pay the full price for it. I would wait till the price drops down and then get it for like $30. You know, but let's face it, you're going to be playing NBA 2K probably most of the time instead of NBA Live. And all your friends are going to be playing NBA 2K most of the time instead of the uh, NBA Live. This is, just, uh, this is just a fact, you know. And I'm trying to be unbiased here. I'm trying to be as honest as possible. I give credit when it's due. And I did give EA Sports a credit this year. They're definitely stepping up their game with Madden, FIFA... And even NBA Live, they definitely are listening. <clears throat> and they're moving into a right direction. But they still have a long ways to go if they want to defeat. Uh, if it's going to be impossible for them to defeat NBA 2K. You know, with the full license that they got and everything. It's going to be tough. So that's pretty much how I... That's pretty much how I feel about the uh, NBA 2K versus NBA Live. It's like a drastic difference in terms of picture quality, graphics, and just in terms of features, NBA Live just wins big time. But for NBA, I mean NBA 2K, I'm sorry, NBA 2K wins big time, not live. Live, it's a good step up from last year, but NBA 2K across the board, it's the winner, period. Um, however... That's something that should be expected. But what's going to be interesting to me is going to be interesting to see how well this game is going to look on Xbox One X. I personally don't think we'll see that much of a difference, honestly, because I, I did play some of these games on PC and I did check them out. But I don't think we're going to see like a drastic difference. It's not going to be like a huge drastic difference. I think we'll see pretty much the same exact thing, you know. Okay, maybe Xbox One X will use a little bit better texture details or a little bit better anti-lacing and filtering. But those are the minor things that your eyes will not be able to notice, okay. These are min minute things that your eyes cannot see that detail or will not notice that detail, what I'm trying to say. But I'm going to compare them anyway. Why not since I have that ability to do so. So anyway, this is really a short video, 10 minute something minutes video. 
just giving you my quick thoughts on NBA 2K versus NBA Live. Like I said, NBA Live, it's a good step up from last year, but I wouldn't pay a full price. I would wait for it to drop down to 30, get it in November for 30, save 30 bucks instead of 60. Uh, just go for now, just go with the NBA 2K. And uh, if you want me, if you need to choose, if you want to choose, if you want to buy both, then I say wait till November and get NBA Live. But if you want to choose and you just want to pick one of the other, I mean, this is it. I mean, this is like a no-brainer. You want to go with the NBA 2K18. It's as simple as that. All right, so hopefully this kind of helps you make up your mind. Again, it's, 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 I cannot tell you what you should do. At the end of the day, it's going to be up to you. I can just tell you that NBA 2K is better than NBA Live. It has more features. It's definitely worth 60 bucks. NBA Live, it's a good step up from last year, uh, but it's still lacking a bunch of features, and there's no HDR. It has a 4K, but I'm not sure if it's, it's a full native 4K. It could be a uh, dynamic upscale 4K. You know, could be either or. I'm not sure. So, or it could be checkerboard. All right. So, with this, you're getting a full native 4K resolution with HDR, much better graphic Im graphical improvements, and you're getting uh, tons of tons of tons of tons of features, like truckload of features. So, bottom line is this: if you're looking to choose, go with the NBA 2K18. If you're looking to buy both then I would say wait till November and get the uh, NBA Live 18 for half a price for 30 bucks, and buy the Xbox One X version and just look and see how the Xbox One X version looks. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't spend 60 bucks on NBA Live currently right now. I wouldn't do it. Why would you do that when you have this? This. <laughs> I mean, it's no-brainer. Really, it's no-brainer here. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this, this helps. Hopefully this gives you some um, an idea on what you should get. So there you have it. Mr. 4K Upscaler, out.